Okay, so we are uh, back at the whip. The, uh, the vehicle I'm going to sleep in tonight. The place is fucking empty. Everywhere is closed. I think the, uh, right when I pulled in here, there is a, uh, a park ranger. I'm pretty sure he thought I was trying to break into the park office, but, you know, it said 7 to 3.30, so I was like, fuck, it's 2. It's 2 something. Where the hell are they? But then I realized that no one is going to be fucking camping at this time except for a specific purpose like I am. But, um, I don't mind me tending to my dinner here. Let's see what we got going. Got me a, a burger, I'm making me some uh, some veggies. It should be about done. But uh, one thing I've noticed with all van nomads, the first video they do is basically it's it's either the conversion itself, like a time lapse video of them doing everything and them telling you what they're doing and all that such. And then there's one where it's like, uh, here's the complete, or here's the, uh, you know, the completed rig, here's the tour. So I'm going to give you a tour of the uh, the 98 Mercury Grand Marquis. It's got 120,000 miles on it. She's probably got another 100,000 in her, I hope. Hopefully I didn't just jinx myself. But uh, there she is. Alright, let's see if I can get better at this. There she is. So... This is the uh, the bed. It's pretty messy right now. I got to do some stuff with that before I, you know, take a sleep in there. It's probably about five feet across. So what I'll probably end up doing is <clears throat> I don't know. I've slept in here once before. I slept on the front seat. The last uh, so when I decided to stay an extra day at the Midwest Peace Liberty Fest after I'd already taken down my tent. Decided I was going to skip college. Probably the, the wise decision. But uh, I'll get back to the tour in a second. I got uh, dinner to cook and such. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I slept in it once in the front seat. And it wasn't too bad, although I was pretty fucked up. So maybe that's something to do with it. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, it really wasn't, really wasn't bad. I think the back seat will be better. And plus I can make some minor adjustments. I think I can get pretty comfortable in there. Uh, at least uh, space-wise. Now, temperature-wise, maybe not again. As I said in the two two videos ago, that uh, it's about I don't know, 35. It's probably 30 degrees now. It's getting a little chillier. And here's the uh, front of the whip. It's decent, decent. She works. Get about a thousand bucks out of her for a trade-in for the van. So I guess that's good. But uh, but yeah, there it is. I mean, there's not a whole lot. There's a trunk here. It's a massive trunk, actually, massive. So, um, you know, if someone wanted to live, if if I wanted to live in this, I probably could. But <clears throat> considering it doesn't cost that much to get a van and convert it, I would, I'd probably rather do that. <clears throat> probably, and I want solar panels. If I'm gonna do this full time, I need, I need electricity so I can still do content creation. Because if I do, if I become a van nomad, you bet, you bet your ass, the Pony Podcast is gonna continue. It's gonna get a lot better. Uh, so, so yeah, this is, uh, the whip and the cooking station. And, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, you know, complete solitude. Every single one of their campgrounds is shut down. And I've only seen two cars drive by and they, I don't know what the hell they were doing, but uh, they went down by the, uh, by the boat dock, I guess, by the place where you drop the boats in. But, yeah, I mean, there's nothing. No matter no matter uh, which way you look, there's uh, absolutely nothing. So, yeah, I've got this place pretty much to myself. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think my dinner's about done. It's going to be delicious. I did I did forget to bring a fork, but I can manage just some steamed vegetables and bomb-ass cheeseburger. Actually, just a burger. I didn't buy cheese. To keep it simple. But, uh, but yeah. Yeah, my coast of LUA, Jason Paradise, has this little cook stove. He cooked for me at uh, the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest. It's a slick little deal. Butane bottles for it are like fucking two fifty, and the stove itself, as I said, was about twenty bucks. And it takes about five seconds to put in the tank, and then you hit the ignition, and it's going. About uh, a few minutes to, to heat up on this uh, cast iron, you know, pan, and. Uh, Heard something sorry and uh yeah now we're uh cooking away things are uh about done it seems so uh yeah this is it this is it it's about uh 
540. I've been here for about three hours, and I'll tell you what, things do move slower, you know, out here. They really do. You, if, if you watch a lot of these uh, these Van Nomad videos, you know, there's there's plenty of times they'll say, you know, we've we've tried to rush in the morning, you know, get get off on the road, and uh, you know, it just doesn't work. You know, things take good. You know, things take time, and uh, especially when you're in a van, you know, <clears throat> it's just it's just different. It's completely different, completely different. And uh, you know, just and I already knew this that things move slower, but like whenever uh, you know we're, we're camping and riding at our property in southern Illinois, probably about another hour south of where I am, you know, things do slow down. You know, once you get away from the first round, once you get away from you know fascist book and the uh, government controlled media and all those things things really do slow down uh i guess at least uh perceptually so i don't know i guess to, to close out real quick i didn't get caught in a rainstorm even though i thought i was going to a couple times which is why i didn't venture too far right away from the vehicle but uh yeah tomorrow morning i'm gonna get up early and uh you know hopefully it'll be you know in the 40s or not i don't really care tomorrow after tomorrow morning but uh yeah get up early and uh do a couple hours of hiking pay the state $18 for sleeping here and uh yeah I will uh be uh you know moving on so uh yeah pretty uh pretty exciting so <clears throat> I was trying to think if there's anything else I don't think so I do not think so after this I'm just going to uh it's going to be dark so there's not going to be a whole lot to do uh if I stay warm like I am now then I might you know get out my lawn chair and read outside 35 degree weather but uh i don't know well we'll see we'll see i'm sure i'll talk to you guys again so later